What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeMode.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Friday, April 2nd. Now be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when this and all of our other content goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman, so you can get updates to these sim results as we get closer to lock. And finally, let me know in the comments section who is your favorite and least favorite of my contenders for today's slate. We round out the bottom of my top 10 with Clint Capella, Christian Wood, PJ Washington, Patrick Williams, and Jaden McDaniels on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites, my top five plays for today? It's time to find out. First up at number five, we're going to the center spot and we're grabbing Robert Williams. He missed the last game, but he's back for this one. 6,600 projected for 39. The goal is 45. He's going to be in the optimal lineup 23% of the time. He's been playing pretty solid minutes. I've got him in for 28, 1.4 fantasy points per minute. This dude is a monster. 12 and a half points, almost 11 boards, 2.8 blocks, 1.3 rebounds. That's over four stocks in a pace up matchup against a Houston team that isn't good at all. Robert Williams can thrive here. Christian Wood's pretty bad defensively. And I think that fits really well for Robert Williams. He can have an above average offensive day and really let the blocks fly. No problem here spending 6,600. The upside is massive. Next up at number four, we're going to the power forward spot and we're grabbing Pascal Siakam. Now he is 8,300, projected for 44. The goal is 51. He's in the optimal lineup 26% of the time. Raptors don't have Kyle Lowry today, which means that everybody gets a really sizable boost. 37 minutes for Siakam, 1.19 fantasy points per minute. We see a usage boost, a slight assist boost. 23 points, 8 boards, 5 assists, 2 stocks. Really nice matchup against Golden State. Average defense, but pace up spot. Raptors gain 2.8 possessions over their averages. I'm guessing they probably even play a little bit faster with Kyle Lowry off the floor. This is not the last Raptor we're going to mention, but right now Siakam pretty firmly in the top 5. Next up at number three, we're going to the point guard spot. Just 6,800 for John Morant. Projected for 38. The goal is 46. He's in the optimal lineup 26% of the time. He's been fine as of late. Normally a point, a 1.08 fantasy point per minute guy. I've got him in at 1.12 today. 34 minutes, 27% usage. 21, 7, and 4 is the baseline. But they're taking on a Minnesota team that is absolutely dreadful. It's a huge pace up spot. They gain 2.8 possessions over their average. This looks like an amazing spot for Memphis. There's not really a ton of good defensive talent, at least that John Morant's going to have to worry about here. I have no problem at all taking multiple guys against Minnesota on a daily basis, and today is not going to be any different. With John Morant's price being under 7K, to me, that makes it a no-brainer. I love him. I'm going to love him all day. I'm hoping the public is a little lower. Next up at number two, we're taking a step up in tier shooting guard, Svi Mikhailuk. He's just 3,700, projected for 27 fantasy points. The goal's 35, and he's in the optimal lineup 33% of the time. To me, this one is a no-brainer. The Thunder are missing everyone. No Ty Jerome, no Shea Gilgis-Alexander, no Dort, no Baisley. Svi's going to play north of 30 minutes. I've got him in for 32, just over 0.8 fantasy points per minute, 22% usage. It's mostly scoring, 15 points, 3 assists, 3 boards, maybe a steal. And it's a tough matchup against Phoenix. It's actually a pace down spot against a decent defense. But he's 3,700 and he's going to play 32 plus minutes. And he's not this... Uh, uh, fantasy points per minute sink. 0.8 is legit. He's not a 0.65 guy or something like that. At 3,700, you don't even have to overthink it. He's going to be incredibly popular. He's a basically a cash game lock, uh, barring news for the rest of the day. I'm not going any other direction. You can see we took a big step up in tier over John Morant. Sfi is a no-brainer at 3,700. Just play him a lot. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live, then head on over to Twitter. Follow me, at Josh Engelman, so you can get the updates to these sim results as we get closer to lock. I'm not on live before lock tonight, so you're going to want to keep your eyes peeled for those updates. Head underneath this video, hop in the comment section, let me know who your favorite and least favorite contender are for today's slate. And if you've got a contender that I missed, let me know who it is so I know what I need to look at later on. And finally, the no-brainer number one play for me today, shooting guard Fred Van Vliet. He's 7,400, projected for 45. The goal is just 48. I have him in the optimal lineup 41% of the time. 
Van Vliet gets the biggest boost with Lowry out. He sees a monstrous usage increase. I'm taking him from 1.06 fantasy points per minute to 1.22. He's playing 37 minutes, 27% usage, 23, 7, 4.5, 2 steals. And that same pace up spot that Pascal Siakam gets, almost three additional possessions for the Raptors. It could even be a little bit more. This one's a no-brainer to me. It doesn't really even matter what changes in this slate. Fred Van Vliet is an elite play. He is underpriced for the role that he will have. And no matter what, he's a top five guy today. It doesn't matter what news comes in other than Fred Van Vliet being ruled out. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Friday. April 2nd, almost forgot the month. It's hard, man. Strategy show with Laffy coming up at 10 a.m. The process show is in the books. You should watch it. We broke down all 10 games already. And by we, I mean myself and the fantastic people that watch it along with me. We had a really good crew this morning. That's it then. We're done for the work week. Yay, no more contenders for the next two days. Josh needs a break. That's cool though. We'll be back again Monday morning with another edition of The Contenders. Good luck tonight, everybody. Have a great weekend.